Within the next four years, minority students will become the majority in terms of high school graduates. For the first time, they will outnumber their Caucasian counterparts. As a nation, we must take actionable steps to increase college going for low income and minority students. If you're watching this video right now, I know that you are a smart leader wanting to do whatever it takes to help level the playing field and increase the number of students headed to four-year institutions, thereby decreasing the nation's education gap. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Cynthia Colon. I'm the founder of Destination University, Dream College Academy, College Essay Bootcamp, and Parent Academy. I'm so glad that you're considering partnering with us to help change the trajectory of all of your students. Today, I wanna to quickly share a little bit about what we do, how we do it, and why we do it. So I'll begin with the why. Why we do what we do is simple. We want to help as many families as want, want the information to help them understand and believe that going to college can help change the trajectory of their life. And not just the life of the student headed to college, but the lives of their family and perhaps their extended family as well for generations to come. One of the biggest reasons that I do what I do is because when I was headed to one senior year in high school, I had a big dream of going to USC. My parents didn't go to college and didn't know how to help me navigate this process. So my mom did the one thing that she, could, that she knew how to do is to ask for help. And she got me the guidance I needed to get access and ultimately achieve my dream of attending, of attending USC. Now, how we do what we do. How we do what we do is we take cohorts of students. You'll see that my, from the get-go, uh, the, the team, we use cohorts of students. We do group work. So the College Essay Bootcamp was always founded on doing things by group. So why do we do that? Sort of, I live by the, the expression of dime con quien andas y te digo quien eres, something that my mom taught me, which loosely translated as like, tell me who you hang out with and I'll tell you who you are or also translated so we are the sum, uh, we are the average of the sum of the people we, we connect with. So by taking that mentality, when we put students together who are headed towards the same goal, wanting are all college bound and are talking the same language, using the same vocabulary, it helps to increase the number around them that have bigger dreams as well. So by using a cohort, changing the mentality of a cohort, uh, at a time, a family cohort at a time, it will help to change the community over a lifetime. So we use that. That's one of the ways of how we do things using cohorts. The second how is by using some research, research done by Harvard Business School in 1979. They did a study on goal setting and they simply asked all of their graduates that year, what were their goals and had they written them down? 84% of the students graduating had goals but hadn't written them down. 13% had goals and had written them down. And 3%, only 3% had written the, the, their goals and also had a specific action plan on how to achieve those goals. What was the result? 10 years later, <laughs> I'm sure you can guess, 10 years later, those 13% who had written down their goal were, were were making twice as much money, earning twice as much money as their counterparts who had not written down their goals. And the 3% who had written down with a specific plan were earning 10 times as much as their counterparts who had not written down their goals. So one of the biggest how we do what we do is not only using cohorts of students, but also giving them very specific, like, can you visualize what your goal is? Can you, can you write it down? What is the goal? Can you put it on a vision board? Write down your goals, share your goals with others, other adults, other students, other peers, and also make an action plan. So an action plan is something that's introduced very early on with our program. So we already know that if we can get students to dream it, that's step one, right? Step two, if, they, if we can get them to write it down, they're already twice as likely to achieve that goal. But if we can get them to write it down and have a plan, they're 10 times as likely to get to that goal. And that's the beauty of this. Doesn't matter who you are, what your background is, but with some given particular steps, you would get there.
okay? And finally, what we do. So let me just share with you very quickly um, the few pieces that we do with our entire curriculum. So what we do, the first thing we would do is invite. We like to say that we value um, access, giving every student access. We give them quality information. We show a lot of care and attention to detail and we celebrate. So the first thing we would do is invite students with a beautiful invitation sent to their home. You're invited, you're special, you've been nominated. It makes them feel part of something bigger than themselves. And so they would have to self-select into the program, um, both the parent and the student have to because we believe that this is a family uh, process. So that's step one. Um, for our parents, any parent who joins uh, is going to be part of Parent Academy. Parent Academy, whoops, Parent Academy um, is a 10-step modules. It is, um, it is digital videos, but also we infuse a little bit of live interaction as well. But with the 10 steps, it not only teaches them how to navigate the college admission process, but most importantly, it teaches them how to be a better parent to someone who is college bound or how to infuse that into their home and their daily routine so that their, their child is feeling supported by the parent. So that's really key for success for us. So that is Parent Academy, okay? Parent Academy. The next piece is Destination University. Destination University is the piece for the middle school students. Destination University has one goal in mind, and that is this, exposure, exposure, exposure. So uh, meaning just planting seeds of different colleges. So they get two pieces. They get um, a copy of my book and also a number of um, students that sort of look like them and, and have had success. So let me explain. This is a tale, this book has 33 tales and every single tale is a true story based on a real student and how they navigated the process. So there's a lesson in each tale, but also exposes them to a number of different colleges because each student, as you can imagine, applied to a different group of schools. So planting the seed, exposing them while also educating them. Um, each year, they'll also uh, students in Destination University in the, in the middle school will also get um, baseball training cards, as we call them, with different students highlighting different students from the previous year, the graduating class. So this, for example, is class of 2021. So I'll give you just a few little examples, if you don't mind. This is Diego, and Diego is a first generation to college student who's from here uh, locally, and um, he um, he's headed to UC Riverside, but I'll just tell you, it's a great story of a uh, divorced family, um, and the Thea, the aunt, really champions champions his cause and found me um, and put him enrolled in, in college essay boot camp, for example. Laura, Laura is from New York, and she um, is a daughter of immigrant parents, of Ecuadorian immigrant parents. So they did everything they could to, to get her the resources they need. And she is going to be an honors student and invited to the honors college at Marist College in New York. So quickly, Lexi, Alexia is from Pasadena and she is biracial. And uh, she was also a finalist for the Posse Foundation. She's headed to Kalamazoo College. Jaylynn is from Texas and she's also a Girl Scout Gold Award. She also authored a child's book and she's a rock star. She got into a number of student, a number of places uh, and she wants pre-vet as her, her career. She wants, to, or she, she's gonna major in biology and go into veterinary medicine. Savannah it, uh, did, it took advantage of the law enforcement explorers program. She fell in love with criminology, sociology, all of those things and um, criminal justice, of course. She had an older sister who didn't like her choices when at the, when the, at the time. And so Savannah got started really early in the process and she is one of seven recipients of a full tuition scholarship at APU. She'll head there next year. Curtis is our, a little bit of a rock star. He's our unicorn. Um, Curtis is from uh, Washington, D.C., public school there, and he has had his eye on the prize since a very young age. He wants to be the fifth, the fifth African-American paleontologist in the world. So you can see he was admitted to Harvard and Yale, Chicago, Berkeley, um, he, Howard, Morehouse, et cetera. Um, so he's done a number of things and he took the full tuition scholarship at Florida A&M. So there you have it, okay? So that is exposure, exposure, exposure 
for Destination University. Um, that's that program. The next program would be um, Dream College Academy. Dream College Academy is specifically for the high school students and it is eight modules with over 50 tu video tutorials. And so we will drip them out for freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, as, they, as we see fit what's appropriate for each grade level. But it culminates in a live version of Dream College Academy in the junior year. What that means is for eight weeks, those students um, from, Linwood, from Linwood Unified would be exposed to a live version that's a national version um, of Dream College Academy. And each week, the students are exposed to live admission officers from colleges across the country. So that is the benefit of Dream College Academy um, culminating in the junior year. And if you can just imagine all of the pieces you need, all the modules, they're like academic, all the academics, the GPA curriculum, um, a mock admissions committee, uh, uh, resume building and leadership. Uh, then we move to how to build your college list, um, college essays, uh, teacher recommendations, habits of mind, and also financial aid and scholarships. So that is the entirety of Dream College Academy, eight modules. Finally, um, in the senior year, we expose students to what's called College Essay Boot Camp, or for these purposes, College Essay and Application Boot Camp. It's a full, it's a, it's a full um, buffet of everything they need. This is where they get the most personalized attention, get it, giving them feedback on their essays, giving them feedback and exposure to how exactly to, to do their application, common application, UC application, Cal State application, everything they need um, to be successful in this process. Because at the end of the day, we have only one goal in the senior year, and that is how can we help each student maximize their choices by the time, by March or April of their senior year. That is the only goal of senior year with college essay boot camp, college application boot camp. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Um, so what I've given you is a complete proposal for six, uh, six years for all six grades from seventh grade to 12th grade and what the curriculum would look like and how each year we would fold in different pieces of the entire curriculum. Okay, again, the what we do, I've just shared, but how we do it is by taking cohorts of students so that they can influence each other through exposure, education, and access, and thereby creating a bigger community that will change over the course of time. All right, I hope that, I hope that helps, and if you have any more questions, please let me know. In the meantime, have a happy and sunny day. Bye for now.